Hi fans of PDG, it's Farrell here with uh, the Death Knight video that was requested by one of our great fans. Isn't that right, Munch? Mm-hmm. I'm excited for this one. All right. So it was asked by me, specifically, Cut, or Farrell, Farrell, how do you make a Death Knight deck? Like, how do you make a good Death Knight deck? And there's two or three ways to make a good two, Death Knight deck. Two. Okay. The first one we're going to be you know, real simple with is a solo deck. Okay, a solo deck is a paladin, a warrior, or a death knight type structure. Normally, rogue sometimes, sometimes, but mainly like you'll see like shields and swords and stuff. If you don't know what a solo deck is, go look at the night elf rogue uh, theme deck video. That's what a solo deck is. It's your hero has weapons or a shield, and weapons rogues don't really use shields. Your, so. your hero is your main source of damage. Yeah. Uh, whereas your allies are there to assist. The hero is the hero of the deck. Like the allies in the Night Elf Rogue deck gave his weapons more damage when he swung mm -hmm. with it. So that's basically what a solo deck is. Um, if you're looking to make a Death Knight solo deck, your best choice of a hero for a neutral monster would be the Lich King. Um, if you're going for a more of a an alliance, I'd take Arthas because I like Arthas, but I'd put Arthas on any of my Death Knight decks because he is a Death Knight and an awesome one. Um, Despair is the sword you're probably going to want to use. It's a rare. Um, when building your decks, you want to put rares with rares. That's what your deck is going to be. You're going to have four rares of this card. Four ra All your cards are going to be rares. So you're going to have four of this card, four of this card, card, four of this card, and your rares are going to support your rares. That's how you make a good WoW deck. It's really not that hard. Go online and buy the cards that you need because it's going to be a lot harder to find out packs unless you're trying to build an awesome set. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, get Despair if you're going for a solo deck. Uh, the Shield of Lordaeron if you're going for a Paladin because that's what I uh, went with my Torn Paladin deck. But this is for Death Knights. Um, a true Death Knight deck needs Neverwinter or it, basically uh, it's you'll see the card up here. Um, it wipes the entire board. Just completely wipes the entire board. It even wipes your people. But if you're, you know, down, you just completely destroy the entire field. That is a Death Knight um, only card. It is famous for Death Knights. You need that card if you want your deck to be successful. Um, blood Parasites is a blood talent because there's unholy blood and frost talents. Um, take Blood Parasites if you're going for the blood talent because you can only use one talent specifically. Um with your spell. So blood, take Blood Parasites if you're going for blood. Take um, Unholy Growth if you're going for Unholy. It's something like that. It was in my original Death Knight video. Um, it makes your ghouls really big. And there are certain Death Knights that actually make ghouls passively and stuff like that. And there are plenty of Death Knight cards that will help you make ghouls. You need that card, multiples of that card, if you are going to run an Unholy deck because you will just completely wipe the floor with people. Um, if you're going for that, if you're going for an unholy one, um, if you're going for frost, uh, brittle bones, which you throw on a hero and completely just destroys uh, their health, and once they reach to about half health, then it's removed. But basically, it just completely destroys them every like beginning of their turn. Um, you're gonna need festering diseases. You're gonna need uh, this is for any death knight deck. Uh, you're gonna need festering diseases because that makes them discard cards and you gain life, which. All Death Knights, to be successful, have to uh, gain off of ailments. Uh, you're going to need, in order for your Death Knight deck to be the most successful, you're going to need to have ailments to throw on the other champions, because that's what you do. You basically just throw Festering Diseases, you throw the Brutal Bones on there, and you just utterly annihilate your opponent that way. So, when I'm asked, how do you make a successful Death Knight deck, there's multiple options. So, Blood Parasites, Unholy Growth, Brittle Bones, Neverwinter, or whatever it's called, it, it's a really good card, it'll be up here anyways. And um, if you're going to run a solo deck, don't rely too much on spells, keep that Neverwinter or whatever in there. Uh, you don't have to be talent specifically, because you're going to want um, Death Knights to make ghouls in this deck, you're going to want Death Knight, or just a lot of equipment and things to boost your equipment, like um, the Battle Harness. Uh, because every turn you gain armor uh, on your upkeep, essentially. And uh, then your hero basically won't be able to take damage. So, yeah, I mean, uh, what, do you, what do you say much about? Um, pretty much your, your goal is to make sure that when you make the Death Knight deck, if you're going to run it either as a solo or as a ghoul, 
ghoul farmer, you want to make sure you're in control of what your opponent can do. Unlike a lot of the other classes, Death Knights need to have control of the battle, so you make it so they discard cards so you can stay healthy. You make it so that even when your monsters are going away, you're getting ghouls for it. And you're slowly milling them as well, because right. you'll have attachments on their heroes that it, have them it's mill like, their deck. It's like taking a blue-white deck. It's a very slow... And magic. Yeah, it's a very slow style. Even if you know magic. Yeah, I say, it's a very slow style of play, but it's very rewarding when you do pull it off. Uh, it's rewarding for people who can put the time and honestly the money into it because the cards you're going to need are can be pretty pricey. So, um, yeah, this is Feral, and it's much over there. And uh, that was the Death Knight Structure deck.